what a great way to start the morning. We had Brian Cross talking about maximizing impact on your organization. And he supplemented that with some great examples. We saw Nathan from Chevron talking about the process they went through to deploy ArcGIS Enterprise across the globe. And they did that with an agile mindset, technology, and innovation. Then we saw Tracy from G2 demonstrating new ways to assess risk associated with a pipeline by leveraging insights. And finally, we saw the facilities mapping capabilities, being able to map that indoor space with ArcGIS indoors. And we also heard the term digital twin. And again, with the digital twin, we think about creating content. Maybe that's data, maybe it's maps, maybe it's workflows. But you're creating that information that represents your organization. And with that information, you want to be able to inform and share it with others throughout your company so that they can monitor, and then they can really start to understand what's going on. And so we're going to take a deeper dive into these, uh, these specific areas this morning. And the first one that we're going to look at is how you can access content and create valuable maps by using ArcGIS Pro. Here to demonstrate this for us from the Esri Natural Resources team, Matt Ballard. Matt? Thanks, Dell. <laughs> All right. ArcGIS Pro enables you to streamline your GIS workflows, perform fast analysis, and quickly create maps to share across your organization. This will result in increased productivity and quicker, more intelligent business decisions. I can see here that we have an ArcGIS Pro project package titled Permian Basin Operations, which has been shared with me through our Midland Basin Assets Group. ArcGIS Pro project packages allow you to take all of the data and maps and package it to share throughout your organization, allowing business users to focus on accomplishing their business task instead of managing data or authoring maps. In this project, I have the location for our leases as well as our wells. Also included with my project is a set of tasks. Tasks allow you to capture and document repeatable processes to share throughout your organization. In this case, I'm interested in mapping the production status in the Permian. So I'm going to use our production status reporting task. With this, the first step is to add a production database connection. And using the catalog, I can very easily manage my favorite folder, server, and database connections and quickly add them to each new project. From my database, I'm going to include a table which has both this month and last month's liquid production values and associate them with my wells. So the next step is to join our production data to those wells based on that common API field. Once I've done this, charting in ArcGIS Pro enables you to visualize your data and understand distributions without the need for mapping your attributes. And so directly from the attribute table, I'm going to create a histogram to show me the distribution of this month's oil production in the Permian. For my chart, I will also enable some descriptive statistics such as the standard deviation in the median for increased readability. As I select wells that fall above one standard deviation, I can then see that selection reflected on the map. But what I can also do is create a new chart from our table of contents to visualize what proportion of our wells are horizontal versus vertical. Now for both of our charts, we'll filter them on extent so that I can see the specific area of interest that I'm looking in. And I'll also filter on selection while linking the charts together so that as I select horizontal, I can see specifically the distribution of my horizontal well liquid production in vertical. Now, charting in ArcGIS Pro is very valuable for working in the desktop, being able to understand my data. But I need to be able to share this information with my organization. So from my table, I brought in both this month and last month's liquid production, and I want to share with people exactly what percentage decline or increase we've seen in production since last month. Using ArcGIS Pro, I can symbolize my features using an expression to pull in data coming from multiple fields instead of having to create a new field and calculate on that. So for this field, I'm going to take the difference between this month's production and last month's production divided by last month's times 100, all rounded to two decimal places. Again, this is going to give me 
the percent change in liquid production since last month. For my wells, I'll also apply a size symbology based on this month's oil so I can see which ones are exactly the most productive. So I can see this information on my map, but I also want users to be able to see the exact amount that's being produced as well as the exact amount it's uh, changing. So using Arcade Expressions, you can share this information across the ArcGIS platform in the form of web maps. So now I'm in my pop-up section, and I've enabled two expressions similar to the one that we just did, one for increasing and one for decreasing percentage. I've included both of these expressions in my pop-up window, with red symbolizing which ones are decreasing percentages and green representing which ones are increasing. For my pop-up window, I'll also include this month and last month's liquid production. As I select my red wells, I'll notice that all the information is coming across with negative percentages being symbolized as red, while positive percentages coming across as green. Now for my task, I'm also interested in understanding which of our leases are producing the most oil. So continuing with my task, my next step is to spatially join my leases on my, uh, with my wells. So for each lease, I need to know the sum of this month's oil. With my new layer, I'll apply the same type of symbology that I used with my wells so that I can uh, visualize and understand my data. The symbology ramp that was used for both of these was provided with the ArcGIS Pro project. On my map now, I can see in the, the green color, I can see both uh, large producing wells, or large pr largely producing leases, which are large in area, as well as ones that have highly productive horizontal wells on them. But what I can also see is that we have a number of leases that don't have any production associated with them. So I need to understand the status of permitting on these leases. I know that the first place to go for GIS information is through my connected portal, where in our Midland Basin Assets group, I can see that we have a Permian Permits layer. I can see in a second that we'll actually have a number of permits on these leases, but I need to be able to symbolize these using industry standard symbology. In ArcGIS Pro, you can very easily manage uh, standardized symbology styles by searching both ArcGIS Online as well as your company's portal for standard symbology. I'll search for petroleum, and in this case, I can see Esri's petroleum, as well as the Shell standard symbology. With that, I can then symbolize my, my permits. In this case, I'll use the proposed well location symbology. My map now shows, now shows a comprehensive over, overview of production, both at individual wells, as well as for entire leases, in the entire Permian Basin that we're looking at. I can also see the status of permitting operations in our area of interest. Now, oftentimes, we need to work with both 2D and 3D in ArcGIS Pro. And with ArcGIS Pro, you can work with both in the same project. In this case, I'm just outside of Parachute, Colorado, where we've mapped out our existing as well as proposed leases and roads. Nearby, though, I know that there's a national park as well as a sensitive recreational area which are outlined in green. Using uh, interactive analysis, I can create a dynamic view shed to visualize what's, uh, what's visible from my proposed well pad locations. I'll use a vertical offset of 35 feet to simulate any uh, type of uh, infrastructure that would be there, and I'll use a view shed distance of three miles. I can interactively place and orient my view sheds to ensure that I have the correct coverage on the sensitive recreational area. I can also continue to place view sheds on each of our proposed well pads so that I can ensure that uh, the recreational area won't be affected by any potential construction that's occurring here. ArcGIS Pro is an entirely new way of working with your GIS. Embracing ArcGIS Pro will result in increased productivity and quicker, more intelligent business decisions. Thank you. All right. 
thanks, Matt. That was, that was a really good example, a good use of Pro. I know that you produce some really good looking maps, uh, 2D and 3D. And of course, now that we've created that content, right, it's really easy to share it out to the rest of the organization, especially from Pro. So thank you, Matt.